Well, hello. And we are getting a little excited because this is the first time in at least six months that we've looked around new motorhomes. And we've come to Highbridge, which is just behind the Stover Caravan Club site. Right, well Sue's found a 2017 Bailey Autograph. This is a big beast, that's 50,000 pounds, six berth, and uh, weighs 4.25 tonne. And um, it's uh, the, the, this equivalent of our van really. Uh, different layout of course, but in length, in terms of length, that's going to be best part of eight metres long. Um, gas on the outside. Yeah, Sue says it's huge. Well, I always feel these are a little wider than the uh, Swifts, um, by an inch or two. What about all the seating you've got? Yep, yep. You've got two seaters there. Two seats here, yep. And look at these beautiful yep. leather, aren't they? If they certainly uh, so you can take our leather look. Four more passengers. So you've got four more and passengers, so you people. carry six people and you can sleep, sleep six people. Yep. You've got uh, a double bed up above your head there. Yep. Drop down double Drop bed, down double bed. You've got and that's on a Peugeot boxer. These swivel round. Yeah, seats swivel round. Got a nice little skylight there, haven't yep. they? Mm -hmm. And a bit of storage inside here. Indeed. It's yep. just a lip. Big so van, it's so. It? It's big. Yeah. You've got the television there. You go there. Oh yeah. Yep. TV up there. Now the kitchen is a midships. Got the lift up. Little flappy table there. And a little square sink. Mm -hmm. and then a little bit of uh, workspace here. And one electric. Yeah, three gas, one electric. It's great. All built in into the worktop. Oven. And then a combination oven. And and we've got these push button. Oh, yeah. Yep. Yeah. Nice and full. Oh, spirit level. So these are all drawers. Yeah. They're soft closing as well, aren't they? Yeah. yeah, soft clothes. So there's lots of drawers. Yeah. And above your One head there, there, Sue, is a great big locker, isn't it? And that's there? a big locker, yeah. Shall we try that? Just. Oh, look. Yeah. Lots, of lots of shelves. Yeah. Now it's good head height here, don't you think, Fudge? Yeah, it's very light and bright, isn't it? Very, very good. Another. There's two here, look. Yeah. Skylights. Two skylights there. And then you've it does got feel really bright and airy in here. We've got a nice big fridge. And roomy. With a freezer. Yeah. Certainly feels uh, much roomier than but our but sort you of have Bolero. To set it yourself as to what you want it yep. to be on. It's not an automatic really fridge. Got the, got the microwave. Yeah. Storage again above here. Right at the top. Right up high. For you tall people. For tall people. Yeah. And then, and then there's a little step up into the lounge. Um, do you want to go in the bathroom? There's still a lounge first room. as we're going that way. Step yeah. up into the lounge. Yeah. And these obviously convert. I like, I like the. Nice now, here. from memory, I think the storage a under there. Lounge, um, you make yeah. that up into a double, can't you? Yep. A huge bed. Yep. With all these big cupboards all the way around. Yep. And then you've got. Well, it's got another big skylight down there. Oh, and uh, there. another place for your telly. You've got a concertina door to shut this off. Mm hmm. To make it into a separate bedroom. Yep. If you want to. And, and another huge. Oh there right. is. And then in here, where the mirror is, yeah. I'll come in wardrobe. the lounge. Oh yeah, and yeah. A, ladder. a whopping great wardrobe. But you're going to have six adults, so you're going to need sort of big table better. with a that you can take outside. Yeah. And then storage at the bottom the for tears. clothes and things. If you've got six people, you're going to need a big wardrobe like that, aren't you? Mm. <coughs> oh. Old Aldi heating. Aldi heating. Yeah, it's part of that. And then the bathroom. Oh. It's got a separate shower. Good sized shower. <laughs> Another one of them. <laughs> Salad bowl. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, it's a good sized shower, isn't it? Big cupboard there. Yeah, and folding doors. So you sh there's a shower cubic so. Yeah, it's a proper shower cubic corner. Yeah. yeah. And that's got to be cupboard. Yeah. I don't know how deep it is. Let's have a look. Well, there's still quite a lot of storage in there, isn't yeah, it? It is, isn't it? All the uh, toiletries. Yeah. Mm, nice loo, electric flush. 
Yeah, Most of them are all these days, aren't they? It's in good condition, though. It's it is for a 17, isn't it? Yes, isn't it? Good, nick. Yeah. Good, Nick. Yeah. Yep. We like, don't we? Yes. Big. It is. Very spacious. That's the word that sprung to mind when as soon as I stepped in here. Let's have a look on the outside. There you can see the. It is a big van, this one. Just under eight metres long. But, uh, yep, Sue's mentioned the sun canopy there. You've also got a, uh, a reversing camera. There's uh, equipment to tow with on the back. If, like me, you want to tow a little car or a trailer with your motorbike on, or even a little trailer with more camping gear. But, uh, no alloy wheels on this one, but uh, very clean and tidy. That's a 160 brake horsepower engine. And uh, that's a lot of van for 50 grand. Well, Sue's found a Deflefs van, uh, marked up at 55,000 uh, pounds. Globus GT. It's got a private number plate on, so I'm not sure of the age of this one to look at the card but uh, we can see from the outside it's a big garage which means there's going to be an elevated bed inside there's a canopy here and of course with it being a European uh, van it's got the door the habitation door on the off side of uh, the vehicle nice alloy wheels and a step up into quite a high chassis quite a step up but, um, First impressions that smells yeah. lovely in here. <laughs> yeah, Fiat Ducato. Yeah, death clef death styles. Yeah. Screen there. Yeah. Nice round it's dials. Now they've got a nice uh, over about the cab one, sunroof, yeah. And another one here, so it's and nice and bright. Behind. Lovely and bright. Captain's chair swing round. Yeah. A yeah, it's a little Make damage to the table, but they'll repair that. Um, this table moves, but yep. there's a little one seat here. Don't know if you want to look. Mm -hmm. Shine underneath. Oh yeah. Got a tiny seat there. Yep. So you can take off. And you got two, belts. Two passengers. Two passengers. Yep. Cupboards. And uh, swivelled seats. Mm -hmm. Seats are nice. Yeah. Uh, it's on an automatic. Um, this is the. A Fiat Ducato variomatic, and it's got the uh, gap in the, there where the sat nav would be um, the at the moment. Good size. So, yeah, into the kitchen then. Nice little handy little and then pocket. Here we've got three burners. Burner hub. Yeah. A little sink. A little sink. Yeah. A little oven down there. A little combination oven. It's quite handy. Mm -hmm. Tins, mm -hmm. and the storage space, a little door, store something there. This looks quite substantial. Another big drawer, yeah. Cutlery drawer. Mm -hmm. And then here, you go into the washroom. Let's have a little look. There's a separate shower. Yeah, separate shower with no. a nice duck board in there. You've got the cupboards above the sink, mm -hmm. yeah, the skylight. Yeah. Underneath, there's a cupboard, isn't there? And there's cupboards down here, yeah. That's rather nice. It's nice, considering mm. it's not a very big washroom, we've got a separate shower. Yeah, it's rather nice, I like that. Yeah, Side washrooms are always a bit of a compromise, aren't they? But that's quite open. generous. Fridge. Yeah. It's got a good sized fridge with a freezer mm, compartment inside. Yeah, a bottle box at the bottom. Storage bottom. underneath. Yeah. Yeah, and that's a lovely little fridge, that one, fridge freezer. And then your bed is high, which is what we said outside. Oh, you've got a wardrobe? The wardrobe's got a substantial wardrobe. And a little quick peek in the wardrobe. With storage above and underneath. Yeah. You can keep, put your shoes in there. Oh, yeah. Yeah. That's ah, the electric box there. And shoes aren't right at the bottom. Underneath. Yeah. Okay. And then here. What have you got there? Oh. Slide out. Ah, oh, sure. A yeah. It's yeah, a, a little door, door for, for privacy. Yeah. So, I should put the seat so you can shut your bedroom off. Yeah. So yeah. You can shut that off. Nice idea. 
like and, that. And, that, and that's integrated. Yeah, it is. It yeah, that's and what folders. Storage <laughs> under here as well. That's quite substantial, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. You've got all your boiler and whatnot under there, but this one that's, is that's a big huge cupboard. space. Yeah, yeah. You got some more on your side, didn't you, mate? And then here. Oh yes. Same. There's a hanging rail in there. Yeah. So that's and your wardrobe. Underneath the steps again. Yeah. Like before. Then underneath here. And then you've got the. You can yep. store stuff, can't you? Yep. And then the garage underneath this yeah. rear portion yeah. of the uh, bed. And that's these to stop the stuff from falling yeah. out. It's not too high, but um, we've said it before, haven't we? That's not for me. No. You know. You can obviously clip this up. You've got little clips here, look. Yep, yep. Yep. You want to? Okay. Lovely. It's, a lot, a lot of it's in lovely condition. Six wax. Really nice, nearly nice van. What's that? And it has got quality in it. Yeah. This yeah. is all six wax. Yeah. Do you know what that is? I'll tell you later. I have heard of it. <laughs> All right, so you're happy with that one then? Yeah. yeah.